Singapore is consistently ranked as one of the most open economies in the world. In a recent survey, 71% of our SME customers mentioned that they have expanded overseas or they have plans to go overseas in the near future, especially in our backyard, which is ASEAN. This is also a theme that comes up very consistently in our conversations with customers. They are keen to know how the bank can help them in their overseas expansion plans. Doing business means taking risks. Businesses want to expand, access new markets, and to tap new opportunities. Doing cross-border business inherently means increasing the risks. There are different cultures, different regulations, different currencies as businesses go overseas. As companies go overseas, there are a range of issues that they need to grapple with. Take the instance of a small SME that's trying to enter a new market. If you are a seller, you would need to look at areas, for instance, sales agreement, whether the agreements cover all the terms and conditions that are relevant to the transaction. Do they adequately protect you against disputes? So the whole legal risks need to be managed. There are compliance with export regulations. There are currency risks. There's this whole area of title of goods as you manage the logistics around the export. There are payment risks. And most importantly, there is also the need to access financing to support the transaction. Similarly, if you are a buyer and you are importing goods from a new market, exactly the same set of risks would also be applicable. The documentary credit process makes it possible to do business globally. It safeguards the interests both of the buyer as well as the seller. The seller is assured that the payment will be received if the export documents are provided as per the terms and conditions. And at the same time, the buyer is also assured that the bank will thoroughly screen all the presented documents and ensure their compliance with the stipulated terms and conditions before releasing the payment. Depending on your needs, the banks can also structure additional facilities like supply chain financing, factoring, bank guarantees to help with your export or import transactions. In terms of best practices and learnings, uh, first of all, there's this common myth that trade finance is for the big boys. That's not the case. Trade finance is equally available to SMEs and they can make best use of trade finance capabilities to expand to new markets and to access new opportunities. Secondly, make use of the digital capabilities, especially electronic documents to help reduce costs as well as to improve efficiency. This will result in receiving funds faster as well as quicker delivery of goods. Banks can also provide good FX hedging solutions to mitigate currency risks. That's another area which is of interest to a lot many of our SME customers as they transact with overseas markets. I would like to share a few tips that you can make use of immediately. Taking the example of trading companies, many of our SME customers are trading firms. If you receive a very large export order and are concerned that you may have insufficient bank limits to issue an LC for the import leg, we can help structure a transfer LC mechanism to enable the full end-to-end -end transaction. Secondly, if you are exporting to a new counterparty in one of the emerging market, for instance, you are dealing with a a company in Bangladesh, just as an example. We can help mitigate the risk by adding a confirmation to the letter of credit issued to you. Using our correspondent bank network, we can address the risk of dealing with new markets or new banks. Lastly, and one of my most favorite areas would be to recommend use of digital platforms like DBS Ideal to help you save time and to improve efficiency and have full control over your transaction.